Hello guys, Sylphin here. It's about 7 p.m. right now and I'm making the final video for this series. Last week we had a, a frost and it was an early frost because it wasn't supposed to get cold until um, maybe like two more weeks. But it got cold last week. It's been between like 33 degrees to like 45 or 50 degrees throughout the day. So it's getting cold and it started to kill my plants, as you can see. And if you can see, let me see if I can aim it out there, but we have corn growing next to our house. And it's also drying up because of the frost. So if you hear a lot of cars driving around here, it's because um, the farmers are getting ready to, um, to take their crops. So, if it's noisy, I'll try to pause it for a minute, but let me just show you how dry, dried up it is. And these are the tomatillo plants, and they're starting to dry up, but they did not produce any fruit at all. So, let me show you here. You can see there's like um, little balls right here, which is where the tomatoes are supposed to be, but it has nothing. That's nothing. So all it produced was like these little bulbs with nothing in them. Let me get this bigger one. This one actually has something growing in it. Let me open it up. But they're very small. Oh, this is kind of hard. Yeah, so they're very, very small. So next year, I'm probably not going to plant any because, I mean, they're not worth it if we're not going to get anything. Um, so let me go around. It still has some tomatoes, and I'm picking them as I need them. But I'm probably going to have to pick a lot of them green and just let them ripen inside. So it's all drying up. Let me show you the other two gardens. So this is the other garden. And as you can see the chili plants, they're still fine. They didn't, they didn't uh, dry up with the frost that we had. They still have some chilies on them, so I'll be taking them as I need them. That way none of them go to waste. These are called bikini chilies. And I didn't get very many. They're very, very hot. They're really small. Um, but we didn't get very many. I might have to pick them green until they start drying up, so. Here's some onions. I took most of them and some of them are drying up right here. Let me go to the, to the next one. Okay, so this is the very last garden. There was a lot of onions here, but I took a lot of them. And I'm gonna put most of these in storage once I have the time, but most of the tomato plants here died. Let me get closer. You can kind of hear a bird out there. I don't know if you can hear that. But... Yep, they're drying up. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad because it's 7 p.m. It's during the sunset right now. So, yeah, the lighting might not be very good. We'll see. These are the chili plants.
So these are the onions. And the zucchinis. I actually took a zucchini like a couple days ago. They're very spiky. I actually took a zucchini a couple days ago and the zucchinis are huge. Let me see if I can get a better shot. Here's one of them. So you can see they're pretty big. There's another one hiding inside. They're very spiky so I have to be careful. You can see there's a massive one right there. And there's two more hiding in there. The zucchini plant is dead, so it's not going to be producing anything more. Ooh, there's another one. This one is huge. Wow. So I'm head this way. You can probably hear all that noise. There are trucks just driving by 24-7. Okay you guys, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope that next year I can start up another series again. Maybe I'll show a video of me building another one of these, maybe a bigger one, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, have a good day.